Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the weekly reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 29th of November till the 5th of December. First week of December is here. The year is almost about to end, my dears, and I hope that 2022 comes out to be gorgeous for all of us. Remember, these are general reading times, fluid and energies can be reversed so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you're here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to stick around even though november was super duper shaky i thank you all with all my heart let's get in my librans we are going to look into past present future clarify them and then get a final word from the source to wrap up the reading your past we have the ace of wands some new beginning some fiery new beginning happened for you my Librans which at this point in time has left you in a total bliss of harmony and love wow look at that and prince of pentacles we have in the near future that this is taking to that this is further going toward something more stable this feels more like fiery blissful lots of fun and seems like from that honeymoon phase it's actually going to turn into something more meaningful something more steady look we have the six of wands at the bottom something that gives you that feeling of wonder and just fulfillment like we did it we finally did it yeah let's see ace of wands let's clarify ace of wands in the past for the librans please we have the king of wands and we have the ten of swords you left something behind there was some kind of a beginning and the closure something which was kind of painful that wasn't easy to wrap up there was a cycle that wasn't easy to wrap up for you but you stood there you stood there like that king you stood there with all that focus and determination you held your ground and it paid off and it paid off you had that beginning that you were fighting for you had that beginning that you deserved that you had that beginning that you had your eye on you had that and lovers my my what beautiful blissful harmonious First of all, I love the card. Absolutely gorgeous. Two beings together, blessed by the angels, watched over by the angels in the lap of nature. I mean, beautiful. Yeah, this feels so much in tune with what you really wanted, who you are, how it feels to you. Blissful, harmonious, happy, happy wives, happy wives. Please clarify the lovers in the present. We have the three of cups. See, harmony, fun. This is fun times. This is fun times for you. This is partying. This is, this could be, you know, going out on picnics, having your, your together time, you know, being in each other's arms. This could be in some other situation let's not put it all into a love reading this could be another situation let's say for for work you are finally in a place where work means fun for you finally there are people you like to work with the work in itself is so much of fun that you know just time just flies by you're not even looking at your watch again and again when the day is gonna end this is just you're having fun whatever you are doing you're having fun this new beginning put you in a place where you know this is this is the right thing to do you really feel that 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 victory that success in your heart we have the seven of swords with the king of coins in the in the near future in the near future we have the seven of swords with the prince of pentacles now the first thing that comes in my in the first thing that i hear is not everything that sparkles is gold okay so 
future seems to be kind of hiccupy. But having said that, we have the king of coins and the six of wands, whatever hiccup this might be. This could be a teething phase, let's say, in a new venture that you had started. Or even in relationships, we do have, you know, as I said in the beginning, after the honeymoon phase, this is what we, we go through, right? In relationships, it's not suddenly out of the honeymoon phase and boom, we know we are steady. No, there is this phase where you are setting healthy boundaries with each other, kind of also kind of getting on each other's nerves and, uh, you know, fights and reconciliations and all that, but in all in good humor, let's say that way, it's all in with good intention, all with good intention. Yeah, I do not see any kind of uh, trickery or manipulative or, or dark or heavy or negative energy with the seven of swords yeah nothing of that sort is coming here defensive maybe yeah sometimes it happens we get defensive but you're gonna find your way you're gonna find that grounding you're gonna find that stability you're gonna find that success you will you will let's get your final word from the source to wrap up the reading look even before we go ahead we have three of pentacles here. This is good times with people. This is collaborating with the right kind of people, having fun. Overall, for my Librans, please, for the first week of December 2021. Okay, whoopala. Seven of Wands, holding your ground. We have seven, seven, by the way. This also takes me to the solar plexus. Tapping into your inner confidence, tapping into this phase that you are right now in has given you a lot of confidence in the way you took that stand in the past and the way you have come out of it. And this has also given you that standing. Yeah, in the social circle, so to say. Messages for my Libran, final message for my Libran, please. Two of Cups, see? This is harmonious times, lovers, two of Cups, three of, um, three of Cups, two of Cups, yeah, all of that, all of that. This is happy times. This is you floating in love, harmony, success, happiness, smiles, joy, fun, beautiful. We have, okay, I'm told to take this as well. I will. We have the King of Swords, Ace of... Look, such beautiful cards coming out for you, Librans. Eight of Cups, I'm told, keep it here. I would. The Star, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Swords. You will leave behind this whatever resisting defensive energy that is there. You do have divine helping you get through whatever this teething phase that's going to come along you would have the clarity of vision like that king of sword you will keep an eye on the target you are i mean king of wands king of swords six of wands we have three kings here we have the power of three kings here with the star we are talking about divine guiding you through this phase this is a reaping fruits of the past work that you had put in do not question your blessings do not question your blessings have that clarity of mind that this is happening because you put in this effort in the past and now you are reaping benefits out of it so enjoy this blissful time my librans i wish you all the best it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods